Hi friends, welcome back to another build challenge in The Sims 4. Today we're gonna attempt this tic-tac-toe shell challenge. So basically how this is going to work is gonna be like a regular shell challenge in the way that I'm not allowed to delete or adjust any of these walls, meaning I can't just like pull it out like this, not allowed. I'm not allowed to like delete any of the walls or like get rid of pieces like that, that's not allowed. But what I am allowed to do is move around these pieces like the X's and O's. So I thought this challenge was really unique and cool and we're gonna try and build a house out of this somehow. <laughs> this Sims 4 shell challenge was uploaded onto the gallery by this user here and basically it's gonna act as a regular shell challenge but I'm able to move around the X's and O's. So first thing we're gonna do here is rearrange these and try and put them together. My first thought is like to build a tower but then I kind of feel like I might get myself stuck in this situation. We could move the tower to kind of like the back here or something but I need to like make this look cohesive somehow and putting one tower there I don't think is gonna do it. So scratch that idea. What if instead we kind of like lined them up somehow? So like I'll put these together trying to make sure that I don't accidentally delete any walls. But like let's say they're on there like that. And a long, long, long time ago, I did a hashtag build challenge where I had to like build a house in the shape of a hashtag. And this is kind of reminding me of that. I'm getting flashbacks to like the first intense build challenge I think I've ever done on this channel. But we pulled that off so you know I do have hope a little bit okay so we got the X's and O's I kind of was holding off on this challenge I had this one in the back of my head for a little while because I wanted to wait until my wedding stories came out like the sims 4 my wedding stories the new game pack you know that one I wanted to wait until that came out because with X's and O's like you gotta go with like a love theme right so I would love to do like a really romantic kind of venue I am building in the new sims 4 world Tartosa I built here in my last video I absolutely love the lighting and the landscape is gorgeous and I think I'm happy with my shell question mark at least enough to move on to the next step which is gonna be roofing it so looking at this I'm thinking the only thing that I'm actually going to put a roof on is going to be one or two of the towers in the back or like the O part of the build so like we could do one like this and I'm picturing sort of like a castle so like if I do two of these here and keep it kind of symmetrical because the whole shell is is very symmetrical. I think that might look kind of good. We could go off of that. And then for the rest of it, if we do go the castle route, I could see us having like bridges here, walkways leading. I don't think I want to keep that flooring there. I think if that's going to be in the middle, we could do something really pretty in that center part. Maybe like a really nice dining spot or a fountain or a pool or a courtyard. I don't know yet. Something down there in that area. But for now, I'm just going to line these with these base game fences, kind of just trying to see like what we can do with this. So kind of like that along the bottom and then I can get a thick trim on here. I feel like the trim makes such a difference. That's one thing I remember when I first started building. I never even touched this category but if you're looking to add some quick and easy details onto your build, trim is a way to go. So I'm adding some roofing details. These little points here are from Get Together. I love to use those on my roof. I'm also using these which I feel like I don't use that often because I don't really know how to but I'm gonna size them down and kind of just like put them on every little point around this and I also traced around my roofing with this fence which again is a really easy way to add roofing detail if you just want a simple way to do it. So so far this is what I got. I'm using Discover University windows, a vampire's archway at the front there and I made this little like bridge. I'm all about bridges lately. I don't know why they keep making their ways into my builds like in one way or another lately all of my builds have freaking bridges. It's a phase. I go through these often. I'm also adding some romantic garden columns for now and I think this is coming along pretty nicely. I'm gonna start to do some landscaping. I'm building out with my fountain tool right at the front here and I've kind of gone around the entire thing and started to add like fountains here with these like spa day slabs. I'm gonna put these directly in the middle of these. It's really nice because they just like float on top of the water and what I'm thinking is I can go in with some romantic garden like statues or something and raise them up so it looks like they're placed like right on top of those. Maybe I'll size those up a little bit so it looks like they fit a little better. And then we could do two like side by side right at the front here. And then on that topic, I think I could also use a romantic garden fountain there. My strategy for this shell today is a little bit weird because I'm kind of just going in like parts of the build. I've been focusing on smaller little parts here. Like
like I did the spot a trick again with some landscaping on the side and I'm going part by part because I find that it's really easy to get overwhelmed with a big shell like this so I'm just kind of like taking my time doing little bits at a time and then going from there the bottom floor of my shell like the way that this is shaped kind of has just these extra areas where landscaping is gonna look really nice just kind of like thrown in there so I've been kind of trying to like square it off in a way like anywhere that there's a, a space like from my shell on the bottom floor I'm just filling it in with some landscaping so I'm not quite done with my landscaping yet but I really want to get into this part because we're gonna be able to see this part from the outside so it's actually going to be like part of my landscaping anyway so I'm going in I've used this Discover University fence to kind of separate it off and it's like there's a nice walkthrough area that you can go through I feel like this build just kind of makes sense which is so weird it would be really cool if we did like an Alice in Wonderland themed like dining area here or something like maybe a fountain but I feel like if we did a really like overgrown kind of dining space it would give that Alice in Wonderland kind of like whimsical vibe like I can line with these hedges like these rose bushes obviously like with the new uh, Sims 4 game pack coming out um I have been trying to find packs that look nice with it and the Sims 4 romantic garden stuff obviously is going to be a hit with that pack and although this is not going to be a venue it's definitely going to be more of like a residential lot I might put a wedding arch in here or something just because it's trending you know it's like a thing going on in the sims community so I'll do like a little wedding archway moment but not maybe a venue it could be one of those places like you know when people rent out like airbnbs for their weddings or like big mansions that get rented out for weddings maybe the person who lives there just like loves love so their entire home is like an old castle that they've transformed with all this color and like pink and reds and they rent out their space for weddings and maybe the catch is like I just want to attend I just want give me some tea or something so now we can go in with like the wedding stuff from my wedding stories and we can make a cute little like area for people to have dinner or like a reception or something oh my gosh and those details are gonna look so pretty in here and the barrels oh it's just gonna be like very rustic I don't want to get too caught up with this stuff because again I did just build like an entire build with this pack yesterday so check that out if you want to see me building like primarily with this pack but this is gonna be more of like an integration if you will <gasps> can we get this in here oh it's so pretty and then that would like have the lights on it at nighttime this is gonna look so beautiful and I mean I guess it doesn't have to be for weddings like this house is gonna have a kitchen and everything so technically this could be the dining area for someone that is just very into the wedding aesthetic maybe oh and we gotta get the curtains like these I've been dying to use these on a regular house ever since I tried them out yesterday like just kind of like that instead and then maybe on the actual area where you walk through like right here we could put an ottoman or a bench or something the harsh lighting like those white lights are out I'm coming in hot with some warm lighting we've got the nighttime lighting on right now this is so magical I want to put lanterns in there I wish I could see it better oh my goodness when we do the walkthrough obviously I'm gonna have like my sim going through this and I'll give a better look of like the first person but <gasps> Oh, I love this. This made the whole build. Hopefully I can make the rest of this as magical as the inside because my landscaping outside right now ain't gonna cut it. So we're definitely going back there. Those look really pretty in the background too. I think there's two different kinds if we wanna change it up. Another good option would have been the piano. Damn. I do have the tallest wall height on right now. So it's a little bit tricky to kind of maneuver the high ceilings. I keep going back to this chandelier. Like this is just such a gorgeous piece from Vampires. I've used it in my past like three builds. It's so pretty though especially like I needed it to take up a little bit more room on my ceiling so that's cute okay I just spent way too long on this area I'm gonna move on so I'm just using this base game wallpaper right now I'm probably gonna end up changing it up but the rest of the shell is gonna be really difficult to maneuver because like other than that area I really don't have a lot of room to play around with like these are gonna have to be my bedroom somehow bathrooms the whole thing kitchen everything like I need to fit everything I need into these really narrow areas and then upstairs like this is basically lost cause I mean no bedrooms coming up here maybe a bathroom could like fit but I still need to get up here somehow guys how the heck are we gonna do this okay let's start here bedroom one I don't think I like these curtains I'm gonna replace the archway I had with an actual door I think I'm gonna use the new curtains maybe like a pink swatch there's a lot of pink in this build maybe like a pink and a red bedroom would fit with like the theme and the color scheme and everything so there's a lot of swatches of pink on this I like that oh, this is gonna be so squishy I feel so bad maybe we'll delete the door we're not gonna have a bedroom door I mean like leading out 
outside. <laughs> I'm not locking anyone in, I promise. It's gonna have to be a single bed. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit anything other than that, but like that matches perfectly. That is from Seasons. We could do that one or let's see what else we got. I think I could also see this one here from Cottage Living in there. Maybe we can fully commit to like the pink from My Wedding Stories. And I'm gonna replace the flooring. I had this tile from like Get Famous. We're gonna replace that with some wood. I'm gonna keep going with My Wedding Stories with like some of the details. Oh, we have really high ceilings so I could get away with a hanging plant. Maybe with a mirror, I can put some shelves up over the bed. It's kind of ironic because if we're gonna go with the story that we host weddings here, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit a double bed in this entire build. So I would assume that the person that lives here is probably gonna be single, question mark? Maybe they're cursed. Maybe this could be a house for like someone who got cursed and is like not allowed to find love. What a tragic story. I hope that's not the case. I'm like, I hope they're okay. By the way, quick shout out. Rocking my Emily Ghost merch. This is one of my really good friends. I got this shirt a couple days ago and I am representing. So shout out to Emily Ghost. I love having tall wall height. Sometimes it's like a pain because that means you have to like decorate even higher. But like, I love hanging stuff from the ceiling. I wish we had more options. I don't know what. Hanging lights, yeah, but I don't really want to make it brighter in here. But like even coming in with stuff like this and just like decorating with different heights and stuff. I don't know. I feel like it always looks really pretty. So this is what bedroom number one looks like. Very warm toned, but very, very pretty. I love the clutter in here. The rustic look is really nice. I think for the other bedroom, I am gonna use the Seasons bed with this color instead. And I'm using that new wallpaper from This Is For My Wedding Stories. I feel like it's such a mouthful saying that pack name. The more that I go with this build, I'm kind of thinking that it might be like a back in time kind of build. Like maybe this existed a long time ago because that would explain why there's so many barrels. <laughs> I mean, I personally think they look cool, but like would I want it as my end table? I mean, maybe. Barrels are cool. It's also just like a word that I like to say, like this is my big barrel. <laughs> Look at my barrel right next to my bed. My barrel is so big. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> so very similar vibe with my bedroom here. I added that really cute outdoor retreat chair, which I think looks nice with this rustic style. I think I want to finish off this half of the house with like these two rooms. So one of them is going to be a bathroom. One of them is going to be a scale room. So for the bathroom, I mean, we kind of have a decent amount of room. It's like a long area. I think I want to use Realm of Magic because Realm of Magic has this like fancy, like out there kind of style, which I think is gonna look good with this. And they have all the items I need. We've got a shower, toilet, sink, everything. And I think there's also some like pinky swatches that I could use. Potentially, I'm using this wallpaper here from the bowling pack of all packs. We can get a base game mirror, like this really fancy one. A cute area with towels, like right when you walk in as well. And then right beside here on the other side, I'm picturing like an easel in here, or like this is gonna be a skill room for something. Maybe a chess table. I think a chess table could be like a nice kind of skill addition for this. This. And then I can use the My Wedding Stories chairs. Like with the backing, I'm using these for everything. I don't care if they're for weddings. I like what they look like on the back. We're gonna add some lanterns on the floor because that seems to be my theme. And I don't know, I feel like it just makes everything look cooler. Okay, so our skill area is done. Back of the house is done. I still need a kitchen and the entire upstairs we need to figure out and the landscaping. <laughs> So for my kitchen, obviously I wanna use some of the older like looking stuff. So I'm gonna be using the oven with the exposed wood. I am using these counters here from Perfect Patio stuff. They kind of just look like these outdoor like stone counters with some Journey to Batu clutter. And even though I want this to be like an older kind of style thing, I'm definitely going to be using a smoke detector for you. And with a place like this, I feel like the kitchen, like the people working in the kitchen would be for hire. Like these people are not cooking anything on their own. This is probably gonna be for like a butler or something. Maybe it's just one person and their butler. <gasps> Maybe they fell in love. Oh my God, story. Okay. Sim fell in love with Butler. Butler was not the person that they were meant to marry because they had really strict parents, so they ran away to a castle, but they're cursed. So they can never marry or sleep in the same bed, but they're in love. Don't you just love to see it?
Okay, upstairs, we have avoided you long enough. I've got my three O's in the middle, which like, honestly, I might just end up putting some plants in there or something. I don't see myself being able to make anything out of these little like diagonal walls. So maybe I could put like a plant in there, make it look kind of nice. My trim is like a disaster. And then in here, I'm kind of just working away on like this rocking chair area. So like nifty knitting, we can go in with some hanging plants or something, the nifty knitting bag, maybe like a more casual area for the upstairs because assuming like most people wouldn't really go up here if they were visiting so this could just be like a nice little getaway spot for the owners they can come and hang out up here during the wedding if they want to so there's like bookshelves over here that I'm putting and I think I might just like leave it at that for this side and then on this side I might just kind of do something similar I'm like what kind of skill item can I fit up here nicely a bonsai tree we could do some bonsai tree cutting it can end up just being decor eventually this could maybe just just be like plant corner. We could do some like gardening on the balcony. We could put this over the archway so it's kind of hanging over there like curtains. And actually I think this is gonna work because there are some pieces that I need to hide, like just some trim that's poking in from the diagonal walls. So this could be a good way that I can kind of hide that. I've also been adding in some vase clutter where I can along with like the lanterns and stuff. There are so many weird bump outs. <laughs> Anything that fits and makes sense even remotely, you're going in. I mean, there's a lot of plants in here. So I mean, it wouldn't be that weird if our sim had like a gardening a hobby or something. And I think the plants that go in these little boxes are going to be potted plants because I think I might have a hard time with my lighting if I go in there with any outdoor ones. I mean, this kind of fits like this here in the middle. It's definitely weird, but given the tiny space we've got, I think it's fitting decor. It works. Okay, so I'm back outside. And before I do my landscaping and finish this build off, I want to show you guys what I did with my roofing. So I actually actually downloaded this off the freaking gallery. Look how detailed and beautiful my roofing looks. It really pulled everything together. I made a video on how to download Sims 4 gallery custom content. This was literally from the gallery. I downloaded my roofing from this user here. This is what I downloaded. So check that video out if you want to see how to like do that and put the roofing on and download it and everything. And look how beautiful it looks on my roofing. Okay, so I'm going to finish off the landscaping. I'm going to do it pretty extra and we'll do a grand reveal for the walkthrough. Okay, I think I need to apologize because I went way overboard on the landscaping and I did not even film it. But look how beautiful this looks with the fountains going. I moved this couple in and they are so cute. Hold on. Like, stop. Are you kidding me with this? Look at how pretty this sim is. I'm going to put them both on the gallery. By the way, I always put my sims on the gallery from these walkthroughs. This is going to be the butler and the sim that's cursed. Both of them are really in love but they can't get married and they live in this beautiful castle together, I guess. But look how freaking gorgeous. I can't get over it with the freaking fountains and everything. The landscaping ended up being a combination of romantic garden with my wedding stories. I also added the pond over here. There's a lot of debug, which my wedding stories actually did come with some debug plants, which is nice. I lined the pathways with Journey to Bed 2 debug. And also we have these beautiful dining areas. Again, just in case people did want to use this as a venue, I added adding some champagne. So tons of areas for people to come and sit down, have a meal. Of course, the archway is directly at the front, but let's go and see what our Alice in Wonderland inspired dining area looks like. This is my favorite part of the entire build. I love this Alice in Wonderland inspired area. I love that we were able to incorporate my wedding stories into it as well. Of course, down the hallways, we've got our skill areas and our barrels. <laughs> I mean, actually being in here isn't that bad. Like the kitchen, it looks a little bit squishy, but there's a decent amount of space in here leading down to the bedrooms and the bathroom. This is how our build turned out for the tic-tac-toe shell challenge in The Sims 4. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.